G'day guys, Greg here. Now I was looking at my staghorn the other day and I noticed a whole lot of little black bugs all over it. These little insects are called aphids. Most are very small, about one to two millimeters long with oval shaped green, brown or black bodies and they often form colonies. Now aphids suck on the sap of your plant and can often cause yellowing or stunting or distortion of the plant parts. Now control measures aren't usually warranted, as a range of parasites and predators keep the population numbers down. Hoverflies, lacewings, ladybirds and parasitic wasps are some of the most abundant and powerful natural enemies of aphids. Aphids become more of a problem when things get out of whack, usually when plants are stressed by drought, poor soil conditions or overcrowding. Now aphids aren't particularly a bad insect, but if their populations get too big, they can really damage your plant. Now most supermarkets, plant shops or nurseries can sell you an aphid spray, but why would you buy one when you can make one at home for a fraction of the price? Let me show you how. Now to make this homemade aphid killer, all you need is a spray bottle, some dishwashing soap and some water. So I'll just get some of the soap, about a tablespoon, Add some water. We'll put the sprayer back on. And give it a good shake. And now we just need to spray the plant where all the aphids are infesting it. The fatty acids in the dishwashing soap dissolve the insect's exoskeleton, causing them to dehydrate. The soapy water kills aphids by smothering, so you have to completely cover them with the solution to get success. And the beauty about this mix is that it doesn't harm birds or hard-bodied beneficial insects like lacewings, ladybugs or pollinating bees. When you are spraying, make sure you soak the underside of the leaves where the eggs and larvae are likely to hide. Now don't worry too much if the dishwashing liquid mix goes down to the root system. It generally doesn't hurt plants at all. In fact, some of the eggs and the larvae fall down to the root system and feed off that. So if some does go down there, you actually help kill some of the larvae that's feeding off the root system. Now you may need to come back after a few days and give it another spray. There might be some that you missed that was hiding in crevices, but just come back, give them a spray and everything should be fine. I'll come back in a few days and show you the end result. Okay, well it's four days later and here we have it. You can see the aphids are still here, but they've all dehydrated and dried out. And well, there's nothing moving here. Now I'll give my plant a nice hose off, hose some of those dead exoskeletons and the dead larvae off the plant, just to make it look a lot nicer. Clean it up and get rid of all that excess soapy water that's on the leaves. Now I'll just hang it back up and the plant is looking much happier and much healthier. I hope this tip helps you save some money and help your plants in the garden. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Greg the Gardener.